everyone, welcome to Market's Menu. I'm Larissa Takshi from Market Chef 2019 and I'm in the Patty's Kitchen in Haymarket showing you guys my favorite recipe for a fig leaf panna cotta with katafi pastry and some fresh figs. Wow, I absolutely love Patty's Market. Oh, I think Patty's Market is my absolute happy place. Oh, these grapes, they're so beautiful. Oh, look at these figs, they're gorgeous. I might use these for a dessert, what do you think? They're in season, they're super sweet. Oh, I love these. Have a good day. So you'll have to probably start this recipe a day in advance. And the reason for this is that it takes about 12 hours for the fig leaves to really infuse into our panna cotta mixture. So I've just washed them and dried them really lightly. Fig leaf is a really interesting ingredient, but it adds this sort of like coconutty, palmy flavor. Even when you start to tear it up for your panna cotta mix, you can start to smell it. Oh, just the smell of these fig leaves just bring me right back to my childhood. I used to waddle around after my grandmother picking lovely green figs and fig leaves. She used to be really famous for this fig leaf and fig almond jam, and it was amazing. So to infuse this, I'm mixing 800 ml of pure cream, and now I'm gonna add a bit of milk as well. So I like to do 400 ml of milk, so two to one, two cream, one milk. All right, so we're just gonna bring this down like so. I like to put a plate on top just to help bring down the leaves into that liquid. That way the liquid will all come up and the leaves are completely submerged. And this just goes into the fridge for 12 hours. So this is one that I did earlier. So at this stage, you won't be able to taste the infusion of the fig leaf just yet. So what we're gonna do now is add this mixture into a saucepan. Great, so this goes in and just get all those leaves in there as well. We wanna continue on trying to infuse the milk. Press that down. Here we're gonna add our caster of sugar. Secret ingredient is to add a little bit of salt, not too much. We're not making this salty, we're just bringing out the flavors a little bit more. Okay, so just give this a quick stir. It's a little tricky because there's leaves in there, but once it comes up to the boil, it's a lot easier to incorporate. So I'm using gelatin leaves to set my panna cotta. I'm using four sheets of gold leaf gelatin. Here I've just got some really cold water, pouring that on top of your gelatin leaves, and this will just help soften the leaves up. So just making sure it's under the water. Great, so give that maybe three or four minutes, and you'll notice the gelatin starts to bloom and really soften up, and we can add that to our panna cotta mix. The mixture has almost come to boiling point. And now it's time to add our gelatin leaves. So just gently bring it together. It's a bit of a slippery mess. Squeeze very, very lightly. Shake it off. Okay, so it goes into the pot and just stir it through. That gelatin's gonna melt through the mixture now. So then when this mixture cools down, it's gonna set perfectly. Now you can really smell that fig leaf flavor. All right. Let's strain this, pour that into our panna cotta mold and set it in the fridge. Oh, that smells so good. Strain that, put that to the side. That's done. Now I'm going to pour this into my panna cotta mold. So I'm going to grease the mold before I put the panna cotta mixture in. And the reason for that is because when we take the panna cotta out of this mold, it becomes a lot easier as it's not stuck to the base of this pan. So you just need a bit of patience now to set this. It needs roughly four to six hours to set or overnight. So in it goes to the fridge. Now onto the katafi crunch. We want to add a bit of texture to the dish. So this is a really, really thin pastry. As you can see, it's sort of like vermicelli noodles. Katafi pastry into the bowl. Okay, now moving forward, we need to add some melted ghee. We're just going to do enough just to coat lightly around the pastry. So I'm going to start off with that. So I'm going to sweeten this pastry up with a bit of icing sugar. And this is a great opportunity now to add any sort of flavors you'd like to the pastry. So sometimes I like to add a zest of lemon. You can add some spices in there as well. You can really do anything. Okay, so I'm just gonna toss this through. I just like to sort of grab and pull and then mix it around. Now I'm gonna add this to a baking tray. We're gonna bake this at 180 degrees for roughly 15 minutes or until you notice that it's nice and golden throughout. Just using your hands or your fingers, spreading the pastry across the tray. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to sort of spread out a bit. 
Let's bake this for roughly 15 minutes or until lightly golden. So as you guys can see, it's being cooked out evenly, golden brown. I just need to let this cool down just for a moment so that the pastry can start to harden up and really crunch through. So I've taken my panna cotta out of the fridge. It's been roughly six hours to set that. You should see a nice wobble in the mixture. So we are going to start plating up. There's always a panna cotta failure when the liquid starts to seep out of the mold. Get my serving platter and just place it right on top and just find the base of the um, panna cotta mold. And we're just gonna do a big flip, but really quickly, okay? And just give this a bit of a shake. And as you can see, it's starting to separate from the mold. Get a knife and just lift it underneath the mold and let it separate. <laughs> there we go, hoppa! <laughs> There we go. And just look at that wobble, you guys. Perfectly set. So with this big leaf panna cotta, I want to serve fresh figs with it. So I'm just gonna nick the top off. And I like to tear open the figs. I just love the look of it when you open it up. Look at that, beautiful. So the figs are on. Now I'm gonna serve a fig leaf syrup on top. This is a really, really easy thing to do at home. So all you need to do is add half water and half sugar into a pan and add your fig leaves into that. Simmer until it's reduced down by halfway and it's done. I'm just gonna pour this straight on top, you guys. Look at that, so glossy. So now I'm gonna add our crunchy element, which is our katafi pastry. As you can see, it's perfectly baked. Just sort of scatter that on top. I think fig leaf is a really unique flavor to add to anything, so. It's a good one. So this is my recipe for a fig leaf panna cotta with fresh figs and some katafi pastry, all of which I sourced from Paddy's Markets. And for you guys to get this recipe, visit paddysmarkets.com.au. Enjoy, I'll see you guys next time on the Markets Menu.